Good morning and welcome to a Monday edition of the marathon. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. I told you you were going to be seeing this sweater a lot this winter. It's, um, yeah, Monday morning. Had a really nice Sunday yesterday. Didn't vlog and didn't upload as has become the schedule and I really like it. Tom's had a great swimming lesson. My aunt was able to come and watch that. So well, that was really cool. She's here till tomorrow. Today, as you can tell from the title, my aunt and I are getting tattoos. So this is the boring part of my day. I am working and making sure I've done everything so that we can go. So we're just gonna pause and I'll be back with what I'm gonna guess is gonna be a pretty exciting vlog today. You're gonna get the tattoo bug, Auntie Anna. You're gonna want them all. They're addicting. I don't think so. <laughs> wondering why I look so tired. 2.45 we were up and Thomas couldn't get back to sleep and I also could not get back to sleep. So you know when you're so tired you start to feel a little nauseous. That's how I feel right now. But before I go get Thomas, I thought I would ask my aunt about her uh, experience. So this is my aunt everybody. <laughs> Hi. Um, how was your first tattoo experience? It was good. Yeah? yeah it was really good. Yeah. yeah. What, did, what did you think? Um, I wasn't surprised by anything. Oh, okay. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It was good. And I they... would I wouldn't have got it done unless I was coming to visit, even though I really wanted to get it done. <laughs> Such a bad influence. No, I just <laughs> I just didn't know anybody where I live that I would trust. So I right. knew that you had someone that you trusted. So that's good. why I did it here. Good. Yeah. And do you want to tell us about it? So sure. it's. I mean, you've seen it now. Yeah. Um, I'll put a little insert here too as well. So it's yeah. a song lyric. Yeah, it's a song lyric from a uh, Rod Stewart song. Um, I think the song's called Mine For Me. It's it's probably from the mid 70s. Okay. Is, I'm guessing when it's from. Okay. And Before you were born, obviously. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. And uh, the tattoos in memory of my husband, Gary. Um, it's a Celtic Celtic knot. love knot. Yeah. Yeah. So it's if you look at it closely, it's two hearts and an infinity symbol. And... Took you a long time to figure out what you wanted, hey? Long time. This was not a whim. <laughs> no. <laughs> it took a couple of years. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. What would you say to someone who's maybe like on the fence about getting one? Pain uh, wise, what did you think? Oh, no. I it, The pain was nothing. <laughs> I didn't expect the pain. I think women have a really high tolerance for pain. I wasn't the least bit concerned about pain. Kirk also said that. He said men are always way worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was really important to me that it be right. So I took a really long time thinking about it. Probably, yeah. like seriously, over two years. Yeah. And you know, in the last couple of days, even it's changed from when I first arrived. True, that's true. On Friday. We yeah tweaked it a little yeah um which i'm thrilled with yeah so, me too. and yeah. even kirk like what he did with it i think yeah, made it just definitely. like look that much better definitely good and it would have been our anniversary tomorrow so that's why i got it done now perfect yay good experience <laughs> and i um picked mine this morning because that's what you do <laughs> um i've been toying with the idea of seeing if kirk had an appointment after my auntie Anna, I was like, mm, 
maybe, maybe. And then if you watched a few videos ago, I asked like if I were to get a tattoo, what do you think I should get? And then I asked again in the Marathoner Facebook group, I was talking about how I wanted to um, put something in between the arrow and shake it off just because it seemed like it needed something in that space. So we sat on Pinterest mm -hmm. a couple nights ago and, and Tiana was looking at hers and then we were coming up with ideas for mine. And then last night we looked again on Pinterest and it was kind of like, mm, I just need to let it marinate and sit and think. And um, then this morning I really was able to narrow it down to the sun, the moon and the star. And for me, I don't think I've talked about, I definitely haven't talked about this in a video, but um, I've been doing EMDR therapy since Jeremy died and the sun has come up a lot as like symbolism for me. Um, Thomas and I going towards like warmth and a bright future and towards the sun. And I really like that saying that's like, keep your face towards the sun and the shadows will always be behind you. Um, but yeah, the sun has has come up a lot. Like when you do EMDR, you often do like vis visual visualization. Sorry, my arm's getting, sorry, Aunt Anna. <laughs> my arm's getting tired. Um, yeah, so I really wanted the sun, but I didn't know how I wanted it. And then I also wanted to get something that was, oh, could I look any more tired? Hi. Um, I also wanted to get something that was about like how I, in the last, I don't even know, maybe since Thomas was born, but really in the last, like, since Jeremy died, I've really taken to just, like, trusting that the universe has my back. I mean, reading that book last year helped the badass, like, you are a badass, really um, strengthen that belief for me. But, like, just being open to change and signs and knowing like I truly believe that everything happens for a reason everything's happening as it should even if you don't understand it and that's really been comforting to me and since I've really opened myself up to that and I can't believe like how many good things have happened or how many signs have happened or how much like comfort and just like peace that's given me so I was really trying to find a tattoo that like symbolized the universe but all I could find was planets and that wasn't it and then when I was able to sort of put like the sun the moon and the star together it was really meaningful to me and this morning I was just like yep that's it and then I just asked Kirk to do some like swirlies behind <laughs> and somehow he knew what that meant um, yeah so I'm really happy with it it's under saran wrap right now but um, it was fun did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. It was a good day. Glad we did it together. Yeah, me too. It's like just such a memorable experience. Yeah. So. It's like 7.05. I put Thomas to bed early. I'm just waiting for him to fall asleep and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm so tired. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog of my aunt and I getting tattoos. It was such a fun day. Such a fun experience. I can't recommend Kirk enough. He has now done, I think, six tattoos of mine and he's just so good. Like so incredible um that's it please lace up and become a marathoner subscribe to my channel don't worry there'll be more tattoos to come i'm sure um lots of people told me to get lace up which i really liked and you do you which i really like um but i really wanted to fill in that spot on my arm and i didn't want it to be words but i'm sure those will be coming soon so stay tuned and i'll see you tomorrow i'm excited i'm launching a contest um tomorrow which is tuesday and this vlog is going up on wednesday so if you would like to enter it i am giving away two tickets to the new cirque du soleil that is coming let me see if i can find some details it's the first ever cirque du soleil to be done on ice it's called cirque du soleil crystal and it's coming next April. So I'm gonna take a friend and then um, one of you is gonna win a ticket to bring a friend and we can all hang out together and sit together. So if you would like to enter, make sure you're part of the Marathon or Facebook group or just check out my social media because I'm gonna launch it tomorrow, which will have been yesterday. There's also a pre-sale code. So if you wanna buy your tickets before they go on sale, you can do that too. I think it'll be really cool. Um, if you've never been to a Cirque du Soleil, this would be a perfect opportunity. Come hang out with me and go to the show and um, be a great like Christmas present to get someone. And then we could all go together or you could just buy tickets and we could see you there. 
So yeah, my socials are already always linked below or you can just search Redhead Mayor on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, etc. Um, but that's it. Yeah, literally seven o'clock and I'm going to bed. Become a marathoner, life's not a sprint, it is a marathon, and I will see you in the morning. Here's hoping we have a better night tonight. Good night. <laughs>